Hey guys, my name is Luis and welcome back to my studio. So have you ever been making some great stuff in Airfall Studio and suddenly it just crashes, it is not responding. So I have tried this a lot when I started producing music because I was playing around with the settings in Airfall Studio on my poor laptop. Recently I've got a super strong PC which made everything so much easier but still it happens to me. Maybe because of an external plugin or some sounds that are way too, way too threaded or something in, in that genre. So what I want to show you today is how you can autosave and make backups of FL Studio. So maybe you autosave every one minute or so and then if your FL Studio crashes without you have saved the file then you can always go back and reopen FL Studio. Maybe you lost a couple of tweaks but you would not have lost like let's say 10 minutes of hard work because this is really what annoys people when 10 minutes, 12 minutes half an hour, maybe two hours of hard works get lost and maybe then you just want to stop your project. But let's get into Apple Studio and I will show you now how you can set up the autosave function. Okay guys, so here we are in FL Studio and as you can see I have just opened up a default project that I have been working on. Really not that much, a couple of hours I guess. We have the options menu where you can go to file settings and then you can look at this backup autosave option as you have right here. I'm using FL Studio 20 by the way, so if your does not look like this, please update to the newest version. So you have some options. You have never, just remind every 10 minutes, rarely every 15 minutes, occasionally every 10 minutes, regularly every 5 minutes and frequently every 5 minutes and before risky operations. I have chosen this one because I have a lot of external plugins and some of them kind of make FL Studio crash when opening them. So every time I open a plugin, FL Studio will just make an autosave just before it opens the plugins. So that means that when FL Studio crashes, I have the backup right at my hand. You can also choose how many backups is allowed in your backup folder. If you just choose these lines, you can have unlimited backups. That is also a good thing if you want to go back and see where you have been in FL Studio and your history and all that kind of stuff. But you need to be aware of that it takes up a lot of space on your PC. I've done this because I have a huge storage, but be careful with this. Maybe you can set it to 100, maybe you can set it to 50 or something. So where do you find your backups? I guess this is the most important part. You go to this section over here and you have this folder called backup. Simply just right click and open. And now you will get this backup folder. And yes, my PC is set to Danish because I'm from Denmark. But as you can see, I have so many backups. As you can see, I have 3093 backups. And this is what I mean. I guess this takes up 10 gigabytes of space, but I can handle it. But the way that you delete them is simply just control and A and delete. And as you can see, it takes a lot of time. I have 11 gigabytes of backups, which means that I can always go back and find exactly the one that I wanted. So as you can see, it backups really, really frequently and also before a risky operation like an effect or external plugin or something like that. Also, sometimes when you save manually, it will also create a backup just before you save. So you actually get two saves, but you of course just work in the same file as well. Just remember that if you open a backup, you need to save the file again somewhere else, like, you know, a save as file. Otherwise, you will just be working in, for instance, this one is called CAS and, and if I used the backup, the backup would have called this one CAS backup and then date, month, year and so on. So you have to save as and rename file after you have opened your backup. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a kind of different video because I normally do how-to tutorials on FL Studio. Um, Please like and subscribe if you love the video because I will make more content like this in the future. And you can always watch a lot of content currently on my channel. So stick around 
and until next time, I'll see you.